Hey man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey bro, your boy just got finished watching the movie Air, and I'm ready to go ahead and put it all on the line, man. Yeah, you right. I'm just playing. YouTube family. What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to yet another video, man. Make sure you start the video off by smashing that like button, man. For the human, your boy gotta go ahead and give y'all a little jokey joke. Always keep y'all in good spirits, man. But it is your boy, Jay the Sneaky Guy, man. I'm coming at y'all today with a discussion video. I wanna talk to y'all about some recent things, man. I just wanted to get y'all's feedback on this, bro, because this in particular situation, it does have to do with sneakers. And I just thought that it was just something that was just like real deep, man. So I wanted to bring y'all in on a combo. And I want y'all to keep it a buck, bro. Keep it a buck. Your boy, Jay, gonna keep the buck with y'all man so i just want y'all honest feedback down below in the comment section but first off like i said man started off by giving the video a thumbs up if this is your first time pulling up y'all have came across the right sneakers fits all that good stuff channel man we try to get a little fly over here and do what we can do but um we love for y'all to stay around stick around do all that good stuff so y'all hit that subscribe button and join the fam man and shout out to all the og salute to y'all y'all in the back i see y'all what's good what's good but yeah man today we will be talking about some current events we will start off by bang whoo yes sir who got EA today, man? So let me tell y'all a quick story. Your boy was out at the gym playing basketball earlier, and my wife was blowing up my phone, bro. I'm like, what is going on, bro? Like, my wife at the crib and stuff, so I get to check, because I got a whole bunch of missed calls. I get to checking my cameras and stuff. Like, what's going on at the crib, you know? Um, I called my wife. She was like, hey, I got exclusive access on them shoes. I was trying to see if you wanted them and what size to get. I was like, bro. You had me going crazy thinking something going on, blowing up my phone, four or five missed calls because I was on the court, of course, <laughs> doing my MJ thing, you know what I'm saying? But um, long story short, I ended up getting a pair, man, shout out to the wifey. And for those men out there who thinks that you cannot pull these off, hey, kudos to you. If it's because it's a pink shoe and you feel that you're too manly to wear pink, you might need to check your manlyhood status, man, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, I think... You know, I'm safe in my masculinity. My wife knows I'm safe in there. That's why she'll hit me up and be like, hey, do you want to? Because I know you're going to I know you're gonna do your thing with them, blah, blah, blah. Nah, let me stop. But shout out to the wife, man. Your boy, Jay, did get EA on the wash pink Jordan ones, man. This is wifey's pair. Um, I got these for her early, so she pretty much returned the favor, man. She got hers laced up because she already threw hers on feet, man. But this is a clean shoe. And, bruh, like, bruh. Am, am I am I stretching? Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Am I you know reaching? Am I reaching? You feel what I'm saying? Um, like this light color blue and this pink. Oh no, bro! If I throw some light blue lace, who got EA, bro? I'ma save it, man. Movie coming on the way. Who got EA? Y'all let me know down below in the comment section. But um, yes, the Jordan One Wash Pinks did do an exclusive access today. Let me know if y'all got them. If y'all passed what the deal is but other than that man um i did want to talk to y'all about phone posits bro like i did want to bring that into this conversation i haven't really been big on the phones on this channel i was in the past years like early 2000s like not really early like 2010 11 12 your boy was crazy on the phone posits i had a few pairs i had the electro lines i had the all black joints i had uh the uh Man, I had, I had quite a few of them. I can't even name them right now, but I had quite a few phone posits, and I'm now starting to see, of course, phone posits making a return. So how do y'all feel about the phone posits, man? Recently, we've had the most recent release of the Air phone posits. That is the phone posit one in, of course, the Penny PE colorway, a uh, player exclusive, which in my opinion, bro, your boy might got a double back for those, man. So don't be surprised if you see that on the channel, man, because that shoe is actually pretty clean bro they look nice all over white shoe when you put on some black or dark color socks with that it makes that shoe just pop man it looks real good with the socks so um i think i might be grabbing a pair of those the one thing that i hate about the phones is that they retail for such a high price and they're not the most comfortable shoe bro if y'all know about phones bro people be like nah you gotta wear them and mold on to your ass. Uh, stop it bro there ain't no molding to your feet them things hurt I don't even know how people are hooping them, bro. But salute to you if you hoop. I hate to see what your toes look like. But hey, 
if you can get away with hooping in them, bruh, you go with it, man. But yeah, man, let me know your thoughts on that phone posit as well as another phone posit that I know I will be definitely picking up. I think it's set to release here in a month or two. It is the uh, all red joints. I don't know the in particular name of it. I might put it on the screen, but bro, that's the one. That's the one right there, bro. Them red joints, bro. Them joints is hard, man. The, the metallic red, maybe. I don't know, but it does have that all over glossy red color on it with a little hit of red going around that lace area, man. I think that's pretty dope. I'm looking forward to those, man. Z Sneaker has did post that picture. Of course, he got it from someone else. So shout out to the originator of that picture. But I think that that's a hard shoe. Your boy will be definitely uh copying that pair. But like I said, the white pair. I might gotta go back and grab that one, so don't be surprised if you see that, man. But with those two things out the way, your boy wanted to get into a, a quick discussion, y'all. So this is why I need y'all engagement down below in the comment section. If you haven't already hit the like button, make sure y'all hit the like button, get the engagement up, get this video out there so that more people can join in on the convo, and of course, the, the channel and everything can grow, man. But before I get into it, hey, movie coming tomorrow, man. Lucky Greens, I'm gonna try to get that out to y'all tomorrow. If the weather is good, I'll do it outside. If it's not, we'll be in the crib. But yeah, Lucky Green movie is on the way. So now discussion time, man. Your boy wanted to talk to y'all about something, and I need y'all, need y'all to keep it 100 with your boy. So I was scrolling on Instagram, and I did see. I don't know if they're the first ones who who took up this story or whatnot, but they did mention um about uh, a scenario that Fat Joe has went through. He was talking about how he was gifted a pair of shoes from Virgil Abloh and somebody was trying to buy multiple people he said multiple people were trying to buy that shoe from him and he had offers up to a hundred and fifty thousand let me bruh 150 she Yes, 150,000 for one pair of shoes, man. What would you do? Real quick before y'all let me know, I'm gonna let y'all watch the clip, let y'all hear what he says, and then y'all give me y'all feedback. I'm gonna give y'all my feedback a little bit closer towards the end of the video so that y'all don't, you know what I'm saying, let me discourage y'all or change y'all thoughts, man. But let's play that clip real quick. You gave me a gift. I could never sell the gift. It was a gift. But Virgil made these sneakers friends and family very limited. Incredible. And I got offers, although I never sold, I, I never sell my sneakers, of up to $150,000 for this one pair of sneakers. Now somebody offering you $150,000 for a pair of sneakers is almost like the devil is tap dancing, like the Sandman at the Apollo. I don't believe in selling it. But boy, is the temptation there. Somebody's just dancing like this, trying to give you 150 grand for a pair of sneakers. That, by the way, you got for free. But I don't believe in selling gifts. So, now that you have heard Fat Joe himself speak about that current scenario, man, what would you do? What would you do in that scenario, man? I know that's kind of a... Not even kind of, bro. That's a that's a really really tough scenario right there, man. Because um, I'm a person myself who believes that gifts are priceless. You know what I'm saying? I do firmly believe that gifts are priceless. There's something that's given to you, so there's no price on things that's given to you, whether it's a dollar, a quarter, a thousand dollars, a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Whew. But, um, yeah, man, let me know y'all thoughts real quick down below in the comment section. I'm going to give y'all a second to give me y'all thoughts. Don't retract. I know who's editing. Hey, go ahead and leave the comments down there, especially you if you're watching the premium, man. And uh, make sure y'all hit the notification bells after you subscribe so that you can tap into the premieres of my content, man. But y'all done? Hopefully, I got all y'all opinions down there, man, so I can give y'all minds real quick, real quick. Hit the like, too. Hit the like, hit the like, hit the like. 2.5k likes, man. Something different. Conversation. But other than that, man, hey, Air 2, man. Why y'all doing that? The movie Air, I think it was a real inspirational movie. Um, I just want to give y'all a quick suggestion coming from your boy Jay. Do not put all your eggs in one basket thinking that you're going to get that same result because I think that's like a one in a billion, billion, you know what I'm saying, chance that your scenario is going to turn out like theirs, man. But anyways, y'all should be done typing down below in the comment section, man. Let me give y'all my thoughts on what I think about that video clip from the boy Fat Joe. 
Um, it's tough, bro. It's tough. Um, like I did say, I, I do believe in you know never giving away gifts or selling gifts at that 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 you get from someone because it's it's a priceless thing. But when you think about it, man, um, hard times bring out you know difficult measures you know what i'm saying like people do things in times of need so is it justifiable like if 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 you going through a tough time you lose your job you know what i'm saying um just just you got things coming up like is it okay to sell that shoe at that time even though it was a gift or do you still stand on nah bro i'm gonna lose it all but i'm gonna keep this shoe um, in that type of scenario, your boy Jay would have to say, sell the shoe. Because I think the person who gets it to you would be happy that you are able to do what you need to do instead of just holding on to that gift. I think the gift of $150,000 would be more meaningful to the person who gave it to you. So I would say, hey, if, if that person is still living, RIP to Virgil, you know what I'm saying? Because that's who he got it from. So that's the even, you know what I'm saying, more tough situation. But... I think in Fat Joe's situation, the reason why he's able to be like, nah, bro, it's a gift and blah, 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 because he is in a good position. You know what I'm saying? Fat Joe ain't ain't hurting for a dollar. You know, he's wealthy. You know, he's on his he's on his own level. You know what I'm saying? He's able to buy the things that he wants. He's not hurting for nothing. But if the tables would have turned and, you know, somebody like you and me were gifted a shoe by Virgil Abloh before he died, of course, the Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones, which is the shoe that they were saying that it is. Um, if we were gifted that shoe and I mean even if we weren't going through a hard time and somebody's like bro I got 150k for you for that shoe we gotta keep it a buck bro we gotta hey bro hey I ain't gonna count bro you know they will gift it to me but <laughs> I'm gonna go on and box them up for you bro just uh just yeah yeah just just let me know what I need to do bro I'm keeping it a bug, bro. Like I said, I know them gifts is priceless, but 150, bro. Hey, y'all let me know. Like I said, do not cap. Let me know what y'all would do, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, bro, I think the person who gave me that money, and I don't know, I would think different about it if the person who gave it to me was deceased. If the person who gave me the gift was dead, I would have a hard time making that decision, but overall, you know what I'm saying? I would think that the person who gave it to me, they would be like, hey, bro. 150,000, you know, I ain't even pay that much for the shoe. You know what I'm saying? If you can get it that much, if you can get that much for it, go ahead and do it. But at the same time, you know, it's it's a tough situation because if you ask that person, hey, you think I can sell that shoe, they might tell you the disrespect. You know what I'm saying? So it's a tough situation, but I'm I'm happy to hear y'all thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. What y'all thought about that scenario? Like I said, man, it's a gray area with me. I mean, I say that gifts are priceless, but I mean look. Desperate times calls for desperate measures, man. But y'all let me know, hey, how y'all felt about the conversation today? Did y'all get EA? And um, what else did we talk about? Phone pilots, man. Let me know y'all thoughts on the phones, man. Did y'all pick up any of the phones? But other than that, your boy Jay is gone, man. I just wanted to talk to y'all today, not leave y'all without any content. So like I said, man, hit that thumbs up. I will see y'all back tomorrow, hopefully with our own feet of the Lucky Green Air Jordan 1s. And besides all that, man, we got some early reviews coming up. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Buckle up for the ride, man. Your boy Jay gonna take y'all on the ride man so make sure that y'all hey y'all buck it in but other than that man go check out the movie air i think it was inspirational i'm gonna leave with that and um make sure y'all stay safe y'all stay blessed i might go hoop man what y'all thought about my fit idea man with the with the just wait on it man i'm gone bro